when I was seven years old, my parents sent my sister and I up to my grandparents in Rhode Island to uh, go visit with them for the summer. I just remember uh, getting, I think it might have been my first time on a plane, at least that I can recall, just a DC-9 or something like that, flying out of uh, Washington uh, National Airport. And uh, I just remember looking out the window and as soon as they pushed the engines up, being pushed back in my seat and then getting to see the, the Washington Monument and the White House and, and all the neat buildings there through the window. And it just, it just sank into me there that that's what I wanted to do with my life. I started at the uh, U.S. Air Force Academy, uh, class of 1989, uh, graduated there and went off to pilot training at now closed Williams Air Force Base in Arizona. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different uh, and I looked into the, the U-2 a little bit at the time and it seemed very interesting. So it was a, an all-volunteer assignment. You had to submit a package uh, with all your records and, uh, and apply for the job. It is a different thing to seal yourself in a spacesuit uh, and sit in an aircraft all by your lonesome for about 10 hours. You do get to talk to people on the radios and, and whatnot, but uh, to go out and do that and really enjoy it um, takes a quirky personality. I was the 659th person to solo the U-2 in the history since 1955, and, and even now, 19 years later, we're still only on number 950 or so. Uh, so it's, it, it's a small group of people who have touched it and uh, we, we're a small community who can know each other pretty well. Uh, and again, it's a piece of history that it's, it's just me being a part of. As far as 2,500 hours on active duty in the Air Force, as far as I know, I'm number three. So it's, it's, a, it's a small crowd to be part of uh, and it's, it's just me to do that. You know, a big thank you to all the folks who have given me an opportunity to be here. It was Senator John Warner who uh, got me into the Air Force Academy. It was my parents who pushed me, instructor pilots who taught me to fly, the, the folks who went before me and told me about the U-2, um, and the, the support of my family. It's just, it's been pretty amazing. So I just would like to say thanks to uh, anybody and everybody who's been a part of it.